Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my mystery wife, Laura. I'm here with my crafty husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new crafty surprise mystery craft kit. Mmm, it's in the shape of a very, very short little pencil. And we don't really know exactly what we're getting inside. Um, it says, uh, unbox, super cute DIY, create. create. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get a mystery crafty surprise in here. Uh, this is series one. Create and collect them all, and that's about it, really. I, I can't it, um, wait to uh, yeah. horribly fail. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know what sort of range of crafts there are. I reckon like dream catches and things. Possibly. They look like um, some sort of um, beaded bracelet or necklace picture on the oh, side, so we will find out. Yeah, I thought that looked interesting. I'm a sucker for packaging that's out of the ordinary. Yeah, I really like that about this actually. The tiny little pencils are very cute. It's a hard plastic, so hopefully it's something that you know you could keep and like reuse. Why is it? How do we get into this? <laughs> Why does the packaging hate me so? While we're busting into it, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed here as well as to our other YouTube channels which are linked down below. <sighs> Goodness, that tear strip is failing you, Nathan. It, yeah, there we go. Uh, now, we picked this up at... Big W. It was on in sale Australia. for 13, I think it's about 15 regularly. 15 I think I 16. thought they were 12 normally. Somewhere in that region. <laughs> Look, Big W, you'll find it. Okay, so how do we open it? looks like the uh, yes. top pops off <gasps> there. Uh oh I see a paintbrush. Oh my. Okay, and we've got lots of blind bags, or two, two blind bags in it's here. It's a checklist or... A DIY instructions, instructions maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Let's right. have a look at those first. Oh, the other right. side first, I think. Other side? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh boy, we've... we got a donut trinket bowl. Ooh, so we get brown clay, paintbrush, five paint containers and colours. Oh my goodness. We're going to make a bowl, Nathan. Oh, uh, we might have to come back to it after we form the bowl, though. So it's going to have right. to dry for a while. Well, let's collect them all. <gasps> There's holiday craft oh, kits. Oh, okay. That's look, interesting. Look, you need to... <gasps> <laughs> They're very cute. Right. A... So we have Crafty Surprise, which is what um, this set is. It looks like a, a unicorn dream catcher, kitty coin purse, donut pencil topper, BFF bracelet set. Panda bag charm and the donut trinket bowl. Then there's Crafty Surprise Mini. Which I haven't seen any of the other ones. No, we haven't. So there's a few to collect there. And then a mystery holiday craft kit. Oh, how cute would they have been? The stocking snow globe. Okay, so how about you open that one? I'll get into this. I think I've got our clay. I've got the paint. Now, we, we, we should say here, we are very, very bad at arts and crafts. <laughs> I'd say, hey, speak for yourself, but I know better. So, this is probably going to end badly. All right, what's step one? Step one is open up the four bags and basically combine them together and roll them into a ball. Okay. Can they're I really, they're like air packed. It's open. really... They are. I've never really used air dry clay to be honest so Laura's oh, doing very... this because I've got eczema and I'm sure this is not going to do wonders for my skin oh goody it's all up to me to get the donut right kind of feels like a, a slime or a, like yeah. a not not a runny slime as you can see but um you know kind of a it's more sturdy slime I can't think there's a name for them isn't there and there I just is. can't think of it it's, it's like a floam or foam something yeah closer to that okay so yeah, you it's get... very light and airy feeling so you roll right. into a bowl roll it into a bowl okay bowl that clay I'm sure this is gonna go bad don't don't expect a good-looking donut bowl everybody what a what a crummy right. candle so I've got it in a bowl uh, and then it says flatten the clay ball into a round disc okay disc. Obviously, I suppose pretty flat because you got to sort of. Um, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say edge. I don't really know how how big to make it. Well, you got to pinch the edges of the clay disc upwards to make a sort of bowl shape. All right. All right. So, better not get it stuck to our table, hey? So this is pretty cool. Sort of, yeah. Not bad at all. Um, it would be not too disappointing either if you had um, perhaps like duplicates if you open them because you can decorate them I was gonna say you could actually decorate your little bowls differently now I've got long nails I'm kind of digging them in by mistake and leaving um, nail marks which yeah, is probably we'll, not a great we'll coat it with paint <laughs> it's not looking very bowl shaped though I'm trying <laughs> I tell you I'm not crafty I'm not crafty at all all right 
Hmm. Is, that, is that looking any more? I mean, how bowl-like is it supposed to be exactly? Well, it's supposed to look... Uh, I mean, it's not a very deep looking no. donut bowl. So that would be okay. You know, something to keep like your rings or little look, bits and bobs of jewellery or something in. This is just an example of things you can do with this kit. Yes, and if you're crafty, you'll probably do a lot better. All right, I've made a bowl shape. All right, let's let this... Uh, well, was that the next step? Yeah, and then it says allow the bowl, uh, allow the bowl dry for 30 minutes. Allow the bowl dry for 30 minutes. Well, hang on. Let me make it into slightly more of a bowl shape if I can. I think the issue is, is it's, it's it's warm here. It's warm under our lights and it's actually quite soft. It's not really staying no. um, in position. I think I've made the bottom too thin as well, which probably doesn't help. All right, we're going to go with a shallow bowl. Yeah, definitely going with a shallow bowl. All right, so let's we'll cut back, back 30, 30 minutes, minutes and hopefully it'll be dry. All right. It's 30 minutes later. No, wait, it isn't. No, it's several days later, I <laughs> yeah. think. So we came back to this after our 30 minutes of drying time Whoa. and it was wet. I mean... Wet, yeah. wet, yeah. Yeah, it was wet. You could be like move it still and completely mould it. So we thought we'll leave it for a bit longer. Um, still didn't work out after a couple of hours, so we left it until we filmed next, which is now. Yes, so after, I would say about 24 hours, it was fairly dry. It's still a little flexible. But I think that's just the properties of, of the, the air dry clay. Right, but it is is not wet anymore, so... And it makes a really nice hollow sound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can't like use it like dough anymore. So um, I would I would definitely recommend leaving maybe a little bit more time oh, for agree. that um, if you can, it unless could, for some reason you're in a real hurry. And it could just be because of our current weather temperatures here, which is why it took a little longer as well. Since we're in the middle of summer, well, not in the middle. It's summer. It's and summer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, next we have some instructions for painting our donut on. Now I am uh, terrible. I do not have a steady hand at all. And somehow I've still been allocated as the one who is painting. Uh, the reason for that is <clears throat> I deliberately make a terrible joke, so I think it's funny. Okay, so we're actually going to try. I'm going to try and do the right thing. Don't judge me. I'm I'm self-proclaimed terrible at art. So <laughs> it says on the dry clay, paint a dark pink circle in the center of the bowl. So there you go. That's our dark. Pink. Was darker than the other one. I don't know why the other one's bigger though. It's kind of like a um, like almost like a fluoro. It is. Pink. All right, a circle. Yep. Oh. Wait, hang on. Oh, oh. Beautiful. That deliberately stuffed me up. I believe in you. I think it's a reasonable circle. Maybe just a bit more paint. A bit more paint. It's a circle. There we go, a circle. Okay, so step eight. Paint a wavy dark pink outline around the outer edge of the bowl. Okay, this is the part I can easily stuff up. All right. All right, let go. me take a look at the steps next. Okay, it's quite a small paintbrush, which is good for this part. So, oh, <laughs> so there's less chance to stuff it up. Um, I'm sure I'll still find a way, though. I always want to be better at these things. I'm just, just not. <laughs> it, I wish the brush was slightly bigger. Because uh, the next step is basically you've got to fill in the dark oh. pink outline. And it says it may take two coats of paint. Oh boy, okay. Well, we're just going to give it one um, on I camera so. and then um, I might finish the second coat after it dries off camera and then just put up a photo or something like that. So It's looking good. Come on, yeah. we're almost done. What's that Mario Party game? Cutter or something? You've got to cut out like the... Crazy cutter. Crazy cutter. Alright, so next I'm going to fill all yeah, of this it, in. Obviously except the middle circle. Okay, so this, yeah, this would be preferable um, to have a bigger paintbrush, I would say, then. Uh, it's quite a thin paint. You can probably see, you can definitely see a lot of the brown. Hence the, the two coats. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend going back for a second it's coat, weird. just from initial. So that big uh, paint pot at the back, the lighter pink, it doesn't mention it. So once you fill this in, you just use the other colours to make the sprinkles. Yeah, I'm surprised that the... That's not the pink that's meant on here, but... Well, it says darker pink, and the, the, the fleur one is darker than, like, the more pastel-y one, so... Look, hmm. look, it's art. You could, you could have probably made the middle blue if you wanted the blue donut. Well, absolutely. You could have opened any of the paint colours. You could potentially use paint you had at home if... Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine this is... The, uh, it would be a, it'd be a special paint, I suppose, for the clay, but you could probably get away with any acrylic paint or something you got lying around. I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't know which paint you'd use on clay. Someone can maybe comment via one of the links in the description and let us know, because I'm not going to give painting advice. I'm not, I'm not the person for that. 
You're not Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, no. I mean, Leonardo... Are you thinking Leonardo da Vinci? Uh, of course. <laughs> One of the Ninja Turtles, yes. Oh, goodness. So you can see where I first painted. It's actually soaking into the clay Ooh, yeah. quite a lot. Um, I wonder if you could paint with that bigger paint pot, if you could paint over that and sort of make like a nice blend or something. I don't know. I think this is going to need more than two coats. Hmm. Mm. So the next steps are basically uh, make sprinkles. Make sprinkles. So obviously you need to do your multiple coats first. So, so that you guys aren't just watching me paint multiple coats on this, what we're going to do is I am going to finish this off camera uh, after letting each one dry. It's probably going to take us a while to get through well, it. It sounds about 20 minutes before to you... To dry. Yes. Okay, so yeah, so there's going to be a little while before I can add the sprinkles and then if it dries in time, I will try and come back and paint the sprinkles on camera. If not... If it takes forever to dry like the clay did, you might just get uh, an end picture, I think. So you'll see what comes up next mm. in the video. Oh, exciting. All right, so we have three coats of the pink on there now. I think it looks much better with the three. Uh, I'm going to put some yellow and blue sprinkles on. I'm just going to do the one coat of these if I can get it open. There we go. It's really hard not to spill some of these. Oh, this paint actually has a, a bit of a sparkle to it so that's interesting so I'm just going to do some little lines random sprinkles I'm going to try and make them lines <laughs> again my hands are not very steady Nathan's off doing something else he's given up on the on the bowl and left it to me now so let's get these all on If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know via one of the links down below which of the colours that came with this you would have painted your donut if it wasn't the pink one. I would have painted blue because blue is blueberries. I don't like blueberries. I like blueberries too. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Friday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.